and welcome back to the Tech Unravel. Today I want to show you how to install this plugin loader on your Steam Deck that will make your life a bit easier in browsing through your gaming mode on your Steam Deck. What we want to achieve today is basically install this plugin that will enable another option here in your Steam Deck menu and then you can install also some other plugins that will create a couple of shortcuts for your non-Steam applications that you normally should add through your desktop mode. And we will go through this process together in today's video. So I have here on my monitor the link from the github and I will link it down below in the description uh, with all the steps that we need to handle. Basically we just have to enable a couple of developer settings and once we install those and uh, we can go through the desktop mode, run a one time command and afterwards we should be able to enable this plugin directly through the gaming mode. After we do this then we'll have this quick launch plugin that will be able to install through the plugin loader and you'll have all your shortcuts directly through your Steam Deck gaming UI. So let's go ahead and proceed with the installation. First thing that we have to do is to go to the Steam Deck settings and under system, under system settings, you see that we have this enable developer mode. I don't remember if this is something that I enabled previously, but for me it was already enabled, so I can just skip this part. The next step, is to go down below all the way down to the developer settings and then we look for miscellaneous and we have this CEF remote debugging. So we just enable this one and once we have this message we can just restart the Steam Deck. Once your Steam Deck has restarted then we need to go to the desktop mode. So all you have to do is press down and hold down the power button and then switch to desktop. Alright so once you are in the desktop mode all you have to do is open the Firefox and again, open that GitHub link that I've added in the description because you will need to paste this link over here. So all you have to do is copy this one, then go to system and open the console and then you can just paste this command. After you paste this command, you will be prompted to enter the sudo password. This usually happens because you haven't set the initial root password and that's pretty easy to do it yourself. So all you have to do is go to the application launcher, then settings, system settings and then under users you can change the password for your current deck user so be careful with the password that you set because basically this is an administrator user so you can do a lot of things with it so be careful from the security point of view i recommend here using a bluetooth keyboard or maybe you use a usb-c dongle like uh, I have here and then connect to your Steam Deck in order to enter your password easily. As a reminder you can always press the Steam button and X and this will open the on-screen keyboard for your Steam Deck. Once you've entered your password two times then simply click on set password. Once you do that then go back to the console and enter again your password. And once this is done you should be prompted with this output. Looking again at the procedure in the GitHub link, you'll see that that's basically all. So all you have to do now is going back to the gaming UI. You can simply do this by double clicking on the return to gaming mode icon here on the desktop. Once you are back in the gaming mode, then if you go here on the battery icon, you'll see that a new icon appears here under the battery where you can basically see the plugins. So this means that the procedure was successfully and now we can go ahead and install the quick launch plugin directly from the store. Once you click on the store icon, you should look for this plugin called quick launch or look for this user's plugins. But for me, this one was already on top, so I can just go ahead and click on install. You'll be prompted with this message and hit again install. And there you go. After just a couple of seconds, you will see that this plugin already appears under the plugin icons. And if we click on it, then you will see all the applications that I've already installed on my Steam Deck. Please be careful that, at least for now, this plugin only allows adding the applications that were installed directly through the Discover Launcher in the desktop mode. So basically, any other third party application that you may have installed through a different method for now will not appear through this plugin. If you've seen my previous videos, you will notice that I already have here Heroic Game Launcher, which is basically an application that allows you to run your games from your Epic account. I have Microsoft Edge that I used in order to install Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming. I have Chucky that I use for remote playing uh, from my PS5. 
and this application called KRDC that basically allows you to do a remote connection to your other PCs. I've added Microsoft Edge in the past as a non-Steam application, but I've done this through the desktop mode. In the meantime, I've removed it completely, so if you go to my library and into the non-Steam application, you'll see that Microsoft Edge is not here anymore. So in order to test out this plugin, we can go again to the plugins and then click on Microsoft Edge and you should be prompted with a message over here that the shortcut was created. And there you go. And now if you go back to the library in the non-Steam application, you will see that we have here Microsoft Edge. And if you click on it and then hit on play, You can see over here that Microsoft Edge has been successfully added as a non-Steam application. Again, as a quick reminder, this only works for the Fredpak applications, so basically everything that you install through your Discoverer launcher. So anything else uh, that you may have on your Steam Deck installed through a different way, like I have here, for example, the individual scripts for the Epic games like Grand Theft Auto V and uh, Hue, these will not appear in the plugin as you already seen. Alright, so that's it for this video, I hope you find this information useful, I know that for some it will uh, easy up the process a lot because you don't need to go to the desktop mode every time in order to add non steep applications to your desktop mode, I know for me it will help out a lot. In the meantime you can always check out my other videos on uh, other useful information about the Steam Deck and please stick around for other videos like this one. That's it for now, this is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next one.